Before we start our story today, please like and subscribe to our channel. It will help the channel grow and we could bless more to our charity organization in need. And thank you for your support. Hundreds died, suffering, cats and dogs left without food and water in Ukraine. As Ukrainian citizens have been forced from their homes in search of safety, many have taken their pets with them. But not all animals can be evacuated. Rescue groups are helping those who have been left behind. Millions of people have fled Ukraine since Russian troops launched their invasion on February 24. Most have crossed the border south and west, in the hope of finding a safe haven in Western Europe, primarily women and children, many with four-legged companions in tow. Alongside the thousands of volunteers bringing refugee aid to the border, animal welfare groups like Humane Society International have mobilized to provide bags of food, medication and veterinary care for pets and other animals caught up in the conflict. Leaving pets behind to starve or be injured in the conflict is understandably for many an impossible decision, and we have heard from refugees were helping in Berlin that the loyal companionship of their pets has kept them and their families going on the arduous journey to safety," said Sylvie Kremerskoven Gleason, the organization's director in Germany. For children especially, their pets are an enormous source of comfort to help them cope with the trauma of war. These refugees are frightened and exhausted, so being able to help them care for their pets means they have one less thing to worry about at a time when they need help the most," she added. Charities and NGOs are collecting funds to help the animal shelters still operating in Ukraine. These donations are being used to ship urgently needed supplies for the animals who can't be evacuated, those who are injured, abandoned or are unable to make the journey. When it comes to certain larger creatures, evacuation hasn't been possible. At the Kiev Zoo, a small group of keepers have stayed behind to care for animals including elephants, camels, big cats and a gorilla. The war is causing terrible stress for the animals, wrote the zoo on its website in late February, in the first days of the war. Some animals have needed sedatives to help calm them down during the explosions and gunfire in the fight for the Ukrainians. However, some larger animals have made it out of the country to the safety of shelters abroad. Around 80, among them lions and tigers, were evacuated in early March from a sanctuary near Kiev and taken to a zoo in Poznan, western Poland. They had to go a long way around to avoid Zydomir and other bombardment zones. They had to turn back many times, because all the roads were blown up, full of holes, impossible to pass with such cargo, which is why it took so long," Malgorzata Kotala, a spokesperson for the Poznan Zoo, told the Reuters news agency. After some time to rest and recover, and the necessary veterinary checkups, some of the animals have since traveled further west to find safety in other European sanctuaries. The video below, posted to Facebook, shows two of the lions adapting to their new home at the Nature Aid Center in Augsburgen, northeastern Belgium. This Ukrainian rights organization is fighting to protect animals from the impact of the Russian invasion. U Animals has uncovered a string of rights violations across the country inflicted not just against civilians, but against the creatures they were forced to leave behind. When the war started, we realized every day that it's becoming worse and worse, says Ol Shevanyuk, co-founder and CEO of the Rescue Force. The Russians shoot adults, children and even animals. They have no moral values at all. We found a shelter in Borodyanka where animals were left in locked cages," continues Shivanyak. There were 485 dogs there at the start of the war. Yesterday our volunteers were able to reach it, and only 150 dogs were still alive. There was no food, no water. Hundreds just died, suffering. The organization says this is a familiar story all across the country, where thousands of animals remain trapped due to the conflict. U Animals is appealing for so-called green corridors to be established, demilitarized zones which would act as evacuation routes for some of Ukraine's threatened creatures. Currently it's only once our army is able to reach these territories that we are able to deliver food, search for cages, provide transport, veterinary doctors and whatever else we need to save the animals," says Shivanyak. 
Having green corridors to animal shelters is super important and would save lives. The dogs were barking like mad, artillery rounds landing everywhere. British Army veteran tells how he and his animal rescue team dodged Russian projectiles to save 120 animals trapped in a bombed shelter in Kharkiv. British Army veteran, Tom, has set out to save abandoned and misplaced animals in war-torn Ukraine with his rescue group, Breaking the Chains. In a span of 14 days, the charity has already managed to rescue nearly 700 dogs and cats, and deliver over 100 tons of aid to those in need. What we do is very complex and very dangerous. It's like a military operation, so to speak. In, in one recent rescue effort, the crew retrieved 120 animals trapped in a shelter in Kharkiv, Ukraine's second-largest city that has been obliterated by Russia. It was 900 meters from the Russian front line. There were artillery rounds landing in and around the area while we were extracting the animals, he said. The animals are taken to a safe space to be examined, given water, cleaned up, and transported to the border of Romania, where they'll be placed into shelters. Tom, who served in the British Army for 16 years, founded the charity in 2020, and credits his own dog with helping him with his struggles with PTSD. As Western allies extend their support to displaced Ukrainians amid the ongoing war with Russia, one British Army veteran has set out to rescue the forgotten victims of the invasion abandoned animals. Over the course of two weeks, former soldier, Tom, and his UK-based animal rescue group, Breaking the Chains, have saved nearly 700 dogs and cats in the war-torn country and delivered over 100 tons of food and medical supplies to those in need. The 34-year-old from Yorkshire, Northern England, has been on the front lines in Ukraine helping extract animals from bomb-stricken shelters. The veteran, who served in the British Army for almost two decades, left the armed forces two years ago, but admits trying to carry out such a mission as a civilian is still very complex and dangerous. It's like a military operation, so to speak, Tom, who asked to keep his last name secret, secret for security reasons. This is a war, not a natural disaster like a hurricane or a tornado. There are so many factors you need to be aware of. We need to understand the situation. We need to understand the ground. We are working with maps, satellites. He continued, there are people crying out left, right and center. It's not just shelter animals that need our help, you have rescues, you have breeders, you have people that have taken in stray and abandoned animals, there must be at least 1,000 locations that have more than 30 dogs. There are thousands of them. In one of his most recent rescue efforts, Tom and his four-man team were able to retrieve 120 animals that were trapped in a bomb-stricken shelter in northeast Kharkiv, the country's second-largest city, which has been obliterated by Russian troops. It was a shelter that had been blown up twice. No one could go to it, no one could reach it and help the animals, so we went in, he said. It was 900 meters, 980 yards, from the Russian front line. There were artillery rounds landing in and around the area while we were extracting the animals. The dogs were barking like mad, then they settled down. One was trying to bite me because he was scared. They were all scared, but we were able to get all the animals out of there, so that's good. Tom and his crew have been transporting the animals in one vehicle, a long wheelbase dog transport van, throughout the operation. There were 50 different crates already built into it, he explained. The shelter owner knows their dogs and knows which ones to put together in the same crate, and we can get three or four cats into the same one. As soon as that van starts driving, they all just go to sleep. It was quite humorous because when we were driving, some cats escaped from a crate and ended up sleeping on the dashboard. We had one cat on the steering wheel and two others sitting on our shoulders. After nearly 30 hours and 1,100 miles, the animals were brought to what Tom described as a safe place where they met with their transport team. The animals were then examined, given water, cleaned up, and taken to the border of Ukraine, Ukraine where they were met by another transport team which took them to shelters in Romania. Another rescue involved delivering food and supplies to four shelters in the Ukrainian capital of Kiev, 
and bringing back 50 dogs that were left behind by their owners upon evacuation. The kennel of dogs consisted of mostly larger breeds, all of which were severely emaciated and in need of medical attention. The big challenge that we have is with the shelters because they have anywhere between 500 to 600 animals. Right now the maximum we can retrieve is about 100 dogs and cats, Tom explained. Ideally, we would like to get three more vehicles, two sprinters and a 4x4 pickup. This way we could have more teams on the ground. This would give us time to save more animals from other places and deliver more food and supplies. Tom's vision for the displaced animals of Ukraine extends far beyond rescuing them from their volatile country. Breaking the Chains had teamed up with UK-based Animal Rescue, Dog Bus Rescue, and together they will expand upon a current shelter in Romania that will house some 1,200 animals. The shelter will be beautiful, with lots of outdoor space and a heated interior. Once there, the dogs will be examined, vaccinated and quarantined before going to other shelters across Europe where they will be adopted out to their forever homes. Volunteers are encouraged to contact Dog Bus Rescue directly if they are interested in coming to Romania to help build the shelter. Having served in the British Army for 16 years, Tom says he's an expert when it comes to working in conflict zones. I joined the Army at the age of 16. So from 16 until two years ago, I have been conditioned to warfare, he said. I was in the infantry, Iraq, Afghanistan. I have traveled all over the world. To me this is normal, because this is all that I know. I have always loved animals. I grew up with animals, had them as a kid all my life. I worked alongside them in the military, and they saved my life more times than I can count, both physically and mentally, said Tom. When I was discharged from the British Army with complex PTSD, I was in a really bad place so I got a dog who was also in a really bad place and together we helped each other. That's what made me truly understand the power of animals and what they bring to us. From that moment, I decided you know what I am going to make the world a safer place for animals and ever since that I have been doing what I am doing. Back home in England, Tom has five dogs, including Gypsy, the devoted dog he adopted during his struggles with his post-traumatic stress disorder. Gypsy is still with me. He is a blind Springer Spaniel. He is a veteran himself, bless him. Thank you for watching and see you again for another interesting facts and stories.